Hey, uh, good afternoon, and uh, uh, it's, it's a real privilege and honor being here. I thank uh, uh, Sri Prakash Kotari and, and Manish and the rest of the team at ISBR for giving me this opportunity. It is indeed a momentous day, and I, and all through the morning ceremony, my thoughts kept going back uh, to the to my graduation day about 11 years ago when I moved out of SPJ, and I could sense the kind of apprehensions, fears, doubts, uncertainties, opportunities that must be running through all of your minds. So I thought I'll spend the next five to seven minutes. One of the things I've learned very clearly is never underestimate the power of hungry stomach. So I, I, I will promise you that I won't keep you up uh, holding on too long. Uh, after hearing uh, Professor Raghunathan as well as uh, Professor Anil Gupta's speech, I mean, I was really wondering and I was really hoping that how I wish that I'd heard these words of wisdom uh, when I was graduating out, uh, when I was moving out of my MBA uh, from SPJN in 99, because the pearls of wisdom, the kind of words of wisdom that is, that is there in their talks, I couldn't applaud and I couldn't agree more. Uh, so what I'll do, ladies and gentlemen, over the next five to seven minutes is share whatever journey that I have tread over the last 10 years and share some of my experiences which could probably help you guys as you begin your uh, journeys uh, into, into achieving what you want to, uh, what you're dreaming about. Uh, 2000, 99, 2000, uh, graduate from BF, from SPGen, I, I probably took the lowest paying job on campus because I thought that it's going to give me some sort of an entrepreneur opportunity. So I joined a, a relatively new startup called BFL Software, uh, which later on became a part of EDS, Emphasis, HP, Now. Earning a paltry, I think my, I still have my first pay slip. My gross was some 17,000 rupees a month. My batchments in my batch, my average salary was about 8 lakhs. My salary was about 2 lakhs, 1 lakh, 96,000 rupees precise. And my batch really hated me for pulling down the batch average. Right? The saying, you know what, because of you, we are one level down because somebody else beat us at 10.1 lakhs or something. Right? But I never regretted that moment that day because that gave me an opportunity to work in Japan, in Tokyo, selling software to a bunch of Japanese companies at a time when I had absolutely no knowledge whatsoever of Japanese. So you could imagine for one and a half years, all I did was to pick up the phone, ask somebody at the other line saying, does anybody know your, in your company know English? And all I could hear was a, was a complete... Uh, gibberish of Japanese, it says, eh, ego vakari masen ka, and, and then you bang the phone down and do the other call. 2000 was when I came back to India to, on an, another assignment, and I, I saw the amount of incredible energy that was around in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Uh, everybody I knew was trying to start something. I figured that, man, if I miss this, I'm never going to make it. So with absolutely no clue whatsoever what I wanted to do, I said, let's at least have fun and write a business plan. So, so it did. 2000, sometime in May, I met a friend of mine who was running a software company. The guy told me that, you know what, Madan, one of the requirements I have is to write a question bank management software. And I said, why does anybody want a question bank management software? And he said, no, the IT companies are hiring by the dozens. They need to conduct tests on lots of people, and therefore they need a question bank management software. And then the penny drops saying, you know, what they need is not a question bank management software. What they need is a process to manage the entire recruitment process, including assessments, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, 99, I feel, I feel pretty old. All of you guys must have been in school then. But 99, and I had, done, I had worked with Infosys earlier. So I went back to colleagues in Infosys and asked, looked at all the projections and said, Infosys then was a sub-10,000 people company. So was TCS, so was Wipro. So I asked my colleagues, you know, by all the projections of NASCOM, McKinsey, and all that, IT industry by 2010 is supposed to be a million people uh, industry, right? And there was less than 100,000 people then. So I asked these guys, do you ever think that IT industry, your company is going to hire 100,000 people. All of them almost laughed and said, you know what, it sounds too far-fetched. You know, 10 years down the line, we all know the sizes of these companies. And a lot of our predictions on which we bet our future worth. We said, if the IT industry is going to hire a million people, somebody need to screen or test 5 to 6 million people because the conversion rate is about 20%. And therefore, we said, Meritrack will become India's first testing and assessments company. We'll not do anything else. We won't do sourcing, we won't do placements, and we won't do databasing, we won't be a placement job portal, but we will be an assessment company. And it has played out the way we thought we will. Uh, but not without its own up and downs. In 2001, post 
We had two lakhs in the bank. We had three lakhs of burn a month. Uh, we had an investor who had promised to invest one crore, who invested 40 lakhs, took back 10 lakhs from us, and we were staring at the barrel of a gun. We were 15 days away from a closure. Uh, the writing was clearly on the wall. Uh, that was the time we almost said, forget it, let's go back to our jobs, because for two years we had spent uh, without, with zero money coming in, because none of us were taking salaries, right? But something in us said, you know what? Never give up. And I remember a quote of Einstein, I don't know whether it's, it's his or it's attributed to him, it said, people who give up never realize how, they, how close they were to success, right? And I thought, you know what, it makes sense, let's try it out for another six months. So we did. All of our employees, about 15 of us, apart from us, 15 people, took zero salaries for eight months. Uh, we put an interesting plan in place where we said all revenues on the table, all costs on the table, whatever is left is sh shared amongst all of us, uh, all of the employees. So I still remember uh, 2002's March pay, pay bill where we had uh, payroll, where we had given somebody 342 rupees, somebody had got 800 rupees, because that was the plan we put, right? When I look back, if we had given up then, I wouldn't have been here today, right? I would have been one of those many other faceless people who said, yeah, I tried my hand at entrepreneurship, but you know, it's so tough, right? And it doesn't work, it's always very demanding, and who wants to risk it, right? The, the two points that I would just want to leave you with. One, dream, right? When we started off Meritrack, three of us, none of us had any background whatsoever in recruitment, HR, training, assessments, psychometrics, nothing. All we thought, all we saw was a dream. We said, hey, here is a dream to test millions of people and do a service to the, to the industry, do a service to the ecosystem, and make money, right? As entrepreneurs, uh, that's what you dream for. None of us, I, I still remember, none of us even asked the question, hey, but we don't know anything. We don't know the head or tail of assessments. What are we going to do? We said, there are experts. We'll find it out, right? But we never stopped dreaming. Secondly, never ever give up on your dreams. In, as I said, in 2002, 2004, 2007, we had several crises within the company which, which made it look, you know what, this is not going to go anywhere. Every time we said, let's hang in there. Let's believe in our dreams and make sure that we work hard to, to, to realize our dreams, and every time it's worth, right? I, I still remember, I don't know, I, uh, one of the endearing scenes, I'm, I'm sure all of you have seen Om Shanti Om, right? One of the scenes that I like the best is when, when Shah Rukh Khan, and my Hindi is bad, pardon me, I'll, I'll say it in English. Uh, uh, Shah Rukh Khan says, you know, when you truly wish for something very, very dearly with all of your heart, somehow the universe kind of comes along to make this happen. I firmly believe in it, right? And I've seen it happening, I've seen miracles happening. Uh, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave you with one, I, I, I wish I had a video, I'll, I'll somehow get it across to Manish and maybe he can share it with you. I've seen a miracle happen in the last two years. One, one kid who's an engineering grad said, why can't I take uneducated, unschooled, uh, uh, illiterate so-called uh, students, uh, people in the villages, and can I convert them in an year? I've actually seen it from my eyes. Ten people being converted, transformed in a span of eight months. People who never held a pencil in their hands today are working in BPOs, earning eight to ten thousand rupees a month, typing at sixty words a minute, speaking fairly confident, fluent English. Right? So, transformation is possible, change is possible. The only thing that I want to leave you with uh, from, from from the bottom of my heart is dream, dream big, never let go of your dreams, and somehow work towards the marathon that uh, Professor Raghunathan was speaking of, of realizing those dreams. It will come true one day or the other. With those words, I wish ISBR, I wish all of you all the very best, and I'm, I'm delighted to be here primarily because I've seen Manish uh, operating from the single room office when he set out to start ISBR. And, and if this isn't the realization of a dream uh, that one, one man and his family had to had envision, what else are we looking at, right? So wish you all the very best. Have a great time ahead. Jai Ho.